Oh, hey guys, how's it going? You might have noticed that we are not doing the Q&As anymore. The reason we are not doing them because I caught myself answering everyone individually. But there was one question that just came in about one of the earlier episodes about meditation. So can you please ask that question? Because you thought it was a good idea if we bring this up because Winter confronted the same problem herself. I don't know what it is. Shoot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, I do. I do know what it is, but you guys don't and that's what matters. So read it, please. Okay. She asks, you mentioned that eight minutes is a good starting point for meditation. What do I do if I feel like even that seems intimidating to me? I can't seem to find the time nor the desire to even do eight minutes of meditation. What do you suggest I do to start off? I think the most important to define about meditation that there are many different activities that we just put under the umbrella of meditation. There's multiple different ways to go about this. If you just look at tantric meditation, there's about 112 different techniques in tantric meditation. Each of them has a different purpose. If you're in pain, for example, you can use one of those tantric meditations. If you're just simply sitting under a tree and you smell flowers, it's a different type of meditation. Each of those techniques will help you enter into that meditation zone differently. Also, there are complete different type of meditations. There is a gentleman called Joe Dispenza. He developed a wonderful system which is, brings science into this mysterious realm of meditation. His way of working, in my understanding, more about dealing with your quantum mechanical device, which is yourself utilize it so you don't only operate in the three-dimensional world but potentially reach into other dimensions as well. Also, when you're pondering over ideas, when you're contemplating over ideas, you're also slowing down your brain waves and you can have meditative effect on your brain, on yourself, when you are just spending the time thinking over ideas. So there's many different ways to go about meditation. In my experience with people, the most important thing that you do is regularly. And when I mean regularly, I mean every single day. If you meditate two, three times in some shape or form every week, that will not get you there. But if you meditate a tiny bit every single day, that will over time develop a habit. And on that habit, you can build. The base is the habit. Try to define the amount of time you can do every single day. Tie that attempt to an already existing ritual in your life. Let it be brushing your teeth or washing your face in the morning and you do your meditation as long as you need to. There's many different ways of doing meditation. Just pick the one that is most accessible to you. What matters is first that you become regular. If it's one minute every day, you can build on that. Because if you hang in there for a few weeks, eventually you can increase it to two or three minutes and work your capabilities up that way. And then once you get to a more consistent, longer meditative practice, then you can really go with it and then start to dig yourself deeper and deeper into it. And you will have a visceral understanding of meditation as opposed to just a celebrial idea of what it is. That was a pretty long answer. Yeah, but thorough. Hmm. Is it helpful for you? Yes. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs>